may notice I've got the same hair, same makeup, same clothes, same lighting as the last video you saw yesterday. That is because I'm just filming them in a row to save a bit of time because I should be revising for my GCSE because I've got on Monday. Whoops. <laughs> but on Wednesday and on Friday, I took a biology uh, GCSE exam on Wednesday and then a chemistry on Friday. Like these weren't stupid tests, they were like proper gonna count towards my final grade. So I just, I'm just gonna throw it out there now. I probably could have done a lot more revision than I did. I'm just gonna throw that out there now. So they were both disasters in their own ways. But I'm gonna start with telling you guys the biology one. Let's all get comfy for story time. So on Wednesday, I had my biology exam, and it was at 1:30 in the afternoon, so it was kind of like chilled out, you know. And we could revise a bit before in the day, and I had done. No, well actually I had done a bit of revision, I'd like, the night before I'd looked at my book, gone through a bit, memorised like the carbon cycle, stuff like that, but apart from that I did nothing. So I got into form that morning, like registration, and I realised I'd forgotten my student ID and I didn't know where I was sat, so I was like oh god, panic, panic, mum and dad are in work, I can't get them, and I was like what am I going to do? So I asked my form tutor and he was like don't worry about the student ID, they won't be angry with you, it'll be fine. So I found out where I was sat from a little sheet on the outside of the board. Walked in, I was I had a window seat, you know, so when I didn't know what to do, I could inevitably stare at the window to my desk. And then I saw everybody lay their student IDs out on their desks they normally would, like at the top of the desk, in rows. And I've done like two GCSE exams before this one, so I knew the drill, like I knew put where to put the ID, what to do. When they came around to see like everyone make sure everyone was sat in the right seats, the man was looking for my ID to mark my name off and he was like, where is your ID? So I told him that I forgot it and he literally walked right to the front of the hall, indirectly, because it was quite obvious though, because I was the only one without like an ID on my desk. And he went, if you have forgotten your ID, please stay behind and see the exams officer afterwards. And I was like, oh my god. So that was the first thing that happened. Then I opened the exam paper and that was when trouble really started because I was like, oh shit, I know nothing. What am I doing? Oh shit. <laughs> and I was flicking through and I was like, oh dear. I just started writing nonsense in the end. It was like, why was there straw in the soil? I was like, just stop the rain going through to the soil. <laughs> I started writing some really stupid shit because I had no idea what to do. So. I think I've got E in that exam. So then when I had my uh, chemistry exam two days later, you thought I would have learned. Nope. This one was worse. I had also done fuck all revision, like, no, no, the four, I had done a little tiny bit the night before. I had done fuck all, I hadn't even opened my book. That was how bad it was. I did nothing. So on Friday, the exam started at nine and I got there for 10 to nine. So you meant to be there at like 22. So I was quite late and they don't normally let people in there that early but it was raining outside so I thought, oh yeah, it's a good idea, let's let everybody in. And I was like, no, not a good idea. So of course, I they'd already called my name and I was like going in there, all the teachers were like smiling at me and I was like, why, why are you all smiling at me? And then um, I walked over to my friend and she was like, oh, they've already called your name. And I was like, oh shit. So I had to go up to the person calling that name and I was like, I think you've already called my name. I should go in and they were like, yeah, the night you messed everything up. Walked in, dropped off my bag and everything. Didn't have my phone in my ad, so I was shitting myself the whole time. I was going like, to turn on and make some sort of like loud music. It's going to be like, this is Michaela's phone. Yeah, my desk was like, there's a row of about 12 chairs. My desk was about number five. So I had to go like all the way up there take a seat but like the whole room looking because it was in the middle like middle row i was in quite a hurry like i was walking quite quick i was like didn't really want to make too much of a fuss but instead my shoes that were soaking wet from the rain and they had other plans so because my shoes were wet i slipped i went chunk and i was like this far from my desk i could have touched it if i reached out and i grabbed onto the back of my chair to steady myself made a massive noise dragging the chair managed to save myself just before i fell flat on my ass but like the whole room were like looking their heads like, what is she doing? The exam invigilators were looking at me like, why, you absolute monster of a human being? So this time I remembered my student ID, I remembered to like look where I was sat on my sheet, but what did I do? Oh yeah, fuck all revision. So I opened the paper, I had like no idea what I was doing. The worst thing 
because when I came out everybody was like oh my god that was the easiest exam I've ever taken in my life like did they make that for a seal with no limbs seriously I revised so much for that exam and I didn't even need to like it was so easy like I wish I hadn't revised because I would have been able to do it anyway I don't get any stars on that exam I, I don't think I'd be happy with myself because I think like a two-year-old could have done it it was that easy Michaela what on earth are you on about in the end I just started telling myself that I found it easy but I know I'm gonna be just I'm not gonna be disappointed I'm gonna expect it when I turn up this is like an F on my results day it's always next year <laughs> I would just like to point out that it's Saturday I'm filming this now. On Monday I've got a physics exam which relies on maths, which I can't do. I'm literally failing maths. It's, I can't do maths and I have started revising. Please watch my videos, it's all I have. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching me tell you guys the tale of my disastrous GCSE exams. Right now I'm going to put these in the hashtag life in munch folder. But if you have a name for something I could tell these anecdotes, like call them, tell them, I could call these anecdotes even, then please tell me in the comments or tweet me or anything like that. Bye!